Oh boys and girls, today has been a day. It is two o'clock and we're only just starting the vlog because we've had we've had problems this morning, haven't we? We have. Andy, Andy is asleep. Today's the first day of his half term. Um, last day of term and everything yesterday all went absolutely fine. He was completely fine. And then... Until bedtime. Yeah, what happened? Because I was streaming, so I don't really know what happened at bedtime. So let's talk through bedtime first and then we'll look at what's happened today. It was bath time. I asked him if he wanted a bath. He said yes. I took the seven minutes that it makes, takes to make his bath. Does it really take seven minutes every for the, time? For the, for the bath to fill up. Nice. Then I've walked brush it on the third floor. Um, and then I don't go and get him. I just sit in the bathroom and I put his music on. I just sit in there to make sure he doesn't drown, as you do. And he didn't come in for four songs. So I went to see what was wrong. So I turned it off, went inside. How, when did, how long does it normally take him to come in? Two songs. Okay. Comes in as a wee, gets in. And he didn't come in. So I was like, okay, went to go and see him. And he's just laying on his bed. I asked him if he wanted a bath. He said no. But he had his iPad upside down, but like slightly looking underneath it, kept pressing the top button. And it was coming on, but it was going off. And he wouldn't give it me. I can't leave him when he's on his own. So I called Kevin. That's me. I was streaming at the time. So I came upstairs and distributed his medicine to him, his Risperidil, mm -hmm. is that what that Risperidone. one's called? Risperidone, the one that he has when basically it's to help stop him having meltdowns was to was it was prescribed minute. wasn't it yeah it's to just to help calm him down when his anxiety is particularly high so that he doesn't then lose control so gave him that did he go in the bath because i went back downstairs and carried he came in he stood up in the bath washed himself but then wouldn't rinse so i told him no flip out if he didn't come and rinse because he's got x which is where we're going on sunday yeah um so made him get back i told him no he shouted at me i shouted back just told him no he got in, he rinsed, he did his teeth, and then he got out, got into bed. And when he gets into bed after a bath, I get his devices. Regardless of time, I just get it. So I did that, got, into, got did all his breathing and whatnot, took it into my room, fine, just needed, <coughs> there was a, nothing wrong with it. His iPad, this is, nothing yeah, wrong with his iPad. nothing. He says, like, please enter code after reset, did his code, it was fine. So I don't know what he don't know what he was mad about. Anyway, put it on charge overnight. Didn't think about it. Um, he come and got me this morning. I went to go and get them. Took it out of the box and it wasn't on. I was like, oh, it was not charged overnight. <sighs> that dog. Every time the camera comes on, he likes to kick the tripod. Goodness so, me. So I laid there and charged it for an hour. Still wasn't charging. It had the had the um, logo on, but for some reason wouldn't. Um, so yeah, I had to give him mine, my old one, and then that took an age, because I couldn't get into yeah, it. Yeah, so it turns out all these issues we've been having lately about his charger cables, where one of you like even sent him 50 charger cables because he'd been throwing cables down the stairs. Basically every- But they all work. Every, yeah, every issue he's had in the last month has all been to do with charging his iPad. Um, and we then go and test it and it works fine and we test the cables on our stuff and they work fine and we don't really get what the problem is but it turns out the the charging port the little lightning socket thing on the bottom of his ipad we think it must be broken it's not completely broken so if you get it at exactly the right angle it will still connect and it will still charge but you can't just plug it in and leave it and have it charge up overnight because it didn't and you can't do what andy likes to do which is to have it plugged in on the bed charging while he's watching youtube and stuff on it because you kind of have to hold it in now to make it charge so it seems that that's broken we know that that's a relatively simple repair um but doesn't repair it right there and then yeah he needed something today that ipad is actually the one that dates back to my last day working as a teacher if you remember day. the vlog <laughs> of my last day at work where everyone was throwing stuff at my head and then 
I got a phone call from Anna saying Andy had gone comatose because his iPad had broken and I had to go to Argos on my way home from my last day of work to pick him up a new iPad because he wasn't speaking or moving or doing anything because he'd broken his previous iPad so we had to go and get him one. Yeah, he just he could not cope with his iPad not working. So we were we weren't quite there this morning, but he was getting really stressed out again that his iPad wasn't working the way he wants it to work. He needs it to be charged. It wasn't charging and he, he can't cope with that. So he's had to have another dose of his medicine this morning. So he's had medicine late last night and this morning, which has completely knocked him out. Has he been up at all today? Yeah, he's in now. He came off dinner. And then he's gone back to bed again. So he slept all morning, had his lunch and now he's sleeping again because he's had two doses of medicine and it just completely knocks him out. Um, but we needed a solution for him now. Now, because we know this happens, uh, we now have a little drawer where we keep all our old tech when it gets replaced. We're nerds. You know we're nerds. So when we get we get the new phones when they come out, we get the new iPads when they come out, the new games consoles. So whenever we get new stuff, rather than selling the old stuff or binning the old stuff, it goes in the drawer to be backups for Andy. So his Xbox, his PlayStation, his phone, all of that is cast off of ours. If he breaks his phone there's at least two more sat around upstairs previous iphones that we've had and we had anna's previous ipad i did generously offer to buy myself a new mm. m1 ipad ipad pro so that sure he did. could have my ipad pro um, but apparently anna had a spare that he could have so my generous offer was declined uh, but we, it's not a case of just being able to give it to him straight away because we had to take all of your data off it and then transfer it into his smash proof otter box and get all of his apps that he wants on it it is now set up ready for him to use and works we haven't given if we given it to him yet you have given it to him did he respond okay to it he, he used it? it no he's been i don't know does he realize it's new or do you think I've it's told, his old no, one it's, it's, it's white Okay. It's, one it's back, back in the same case. Yes. <laughs> so yes, <it> is. <laughs> that's going to confuse him a little bit, but fingers crossed this one should just work. All he really uses it for is it's watching YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So as long as he can watch YouTube videos on it, he should be happy. He has one or two games he likes. But... Yeah. Fingers crossed we're good, because otherwise if this, if this continues to be a problem, half term has just started and he's already had a rough few days really a rough week he had a tough day at school earlier in the week he's now had this over the last couple of days we need the ipad to just work okay because the idea of him being at home for a week having fallen out of his ipad doesn't bear thinking about because he will be bored he will be very very bored but he also won't want to do anything else We've been down this road with him before. <laughs> he won't want to sit with us and do stuff. He won't want to be down here watching TV. Um, he'll just... Or he'll just be on me. Yeah, that's what I mean. He'll be all over you the whole time. But, Which I love him. But... but he won't want anything necessarily. He'll know he's upset and want you to fix it, but won't want the solution you're giving him because we've had that so many times. You'll fix... It. Like, we have literally fixed the <laughs> iPad for him now. He's got a different one that works. But if there's something about it that's not quite right, like if he's got it in his like head white. that it needs to be a black one, yeah, then I might just have to order myself a new one. No, because you want a pencil. You're not having one. She broke the last she one. She said that about the AirPods, though. So I, the AirPods, I bought them. Well, can you buy me a pencil? No. Even if I look after no, it? You what if I? It. What if I buy a wooden pencil and keep it really safe for a year, like I did with those... Um, Samsung things if I just carry this wooden pencil around for a year and don't break I'm it I'm wearing all them Samsung things now I gave them to Amy when I got my AirPods why? because I didn't need two lots of earbuds but she has an iPhone she's also got some AirPods now so I don't know where they are now she's probably sold them <laughs> I don't know or slung them in the bin or something um, and now I've got a Samsung phone again so I could probably take them back that'd be quite handy I'll ask her she's here this weekend I'll ask her for my Samsung Air earbuds back Whatever they were called, I can't remember what they were called. Um, but yeah, that's the Pebbles. story with Andy. No, I don't think it's, I think that's what they call a watch. The one other thing we've got is Anna has a parcel. It's a PO box parcel. So if you keep it that way around, apparently if you put hand sanitizer on this, it takes the thing away. Mm -hmm. but the only hand sanitizer. I think this I've one got my Paddington Bear hand sanitizer. Oh, there was some next to your but. Oh, there is, there is, there is. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, it's a big one. Whoa! Ho, ho. So let's see if this works. Mm. 
You don't need to get rid of the PO box address, just where they've handwritten our home address. Oh. People know the PO box address, we just don't want them to know our home address. Not really. No. So it gets rid of the address off of the label, but not, yeah, the, not the handwritten pen where they actually write our home address. I don't mind you seeing the printed PO box address off of the box. That's okay. But I'm not sure what this is. It's probably going to be another gift for Dave. They all seem to get sent to you. Oh, it's in a big fancy thing. It's got a tag on it. Tag say, I don't know, Kevin. Loving the streams, Anna. Seeing your headsets acting strange, I thought you could do a replacement. Aww. Love the vlogs, keep it up. Thanks, Tyler from Tyler Thorne. Tyler, thank Aww. you. <laughs> Let's get, I'm gonna get the other side of the camera so I can show this properly. They are being a pain. Aren't yeah. They, Kevin? Yes, definitely. We've been having no end of trouble with your Kevin stupid a, headset. Kevin had a hissy fit. On the stream yesterday, wasn't it? It was horrible. <laughs> just wouldn't work. This is where I can try out this new feature on this camera, the product showcase feature, which apparently allows you to show the product off and not focus on your face for a second. Ah. So we'll see if this works. Oh, hold on. Hold it up in front of you. <laughs> and then I'm going to press product showcase and it should theoretically focus on the headset. There you go. It's a Kraken X, a Razer Kraken X USB. Very nice. You can get them out. Thank you. That's really cool. That is a nice sticky. <laughs> <laughs> they have nice sticky bits. For gamers, by gamers. Oh, it's got a little thing to pull on. Oh, oh I've got four. Oh, I've got a thing. What sort of thing. Okay. Is there going to be instructions in this that we have to follow to set it up? Or Probably. Or we'll do it wrong? <laughs> oh, it's nicely packaged. It is. Where's the wires? I imagine they'll be tucked up around the back. That is really cool. Thank you very much, Tyler. Thank you. Um, when is your next stream, Anna? Saturday, I'm not sure yet. Well, hopefully, next stream, you'll see her wearing a new headset. It eliminates pressure from glasses if you wear glasses. Oh, it's my new headset. <laughs> um, oh, that's really you. awesome. Thank you. Oh, folks, this has been a stressful day. My hair's even becoming a mess. Um, Andy finally got up about four o'clock. He's had his dinner. He's now absolutely wide awake. He is wide awake and happy. The problem we're gonna have now, of course, <laughs> he's slept all day, so he's probably not going to do much sleeping tonight. So Anna is grabbing a nap on the sofa now. I am in here being quiet. I can't really, I really struggle to sleep during the day, so she'll probably let me sleep overnight. She's good like that, but she's having a bit of a sleep now. So rather than bang around the house at the top of my voice, disturbing her, I'm just going to cut the video short here and uh, leave her to it. And hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and we can officially start half term then.